to remove condemnation from your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Good morning to you and brethren beloved. I welcome you this morning to our first segment of today's service, which is our Bible class. I'm so glad to see you and I thank the Lord for the grace to, to share the moment of this uh, half an hour Bible class with you. And this is usually our program in the morning at church for a Bible class and uh, due to the uh, lockdown rules, I wouldn't say lockdown, living COVID rules, we have had to have this here from this studio. So this morning we're going to go further into our spiritual gifts. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Spiritual gift is what we're dealing with that I've been teaching in the Bible class. And so this morning I pray that the Holy Spirit will open your hearts to understand the source the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father, I thank you this morning for the moment that we are about to share your word. We are about to see that which you have blessed the body of Christ with. The spiritual gift that you have blessed us with for us to triumph in every in the face of adversity, in the face of opposition. We thank you, Lord God, for this spiritual gift, for the body of Christ to triumph over the works of darkness. Father, this morning I pray that, Lord, the word we shall share shall be a blessing unto our lives in the name of Jesus. And I welcome the Holy Spirit to grant us the, 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 the understanding of spiritual gift in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So this morning we're going to be looking at the spiritual gift um, according to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. We have looked at various um, aspects of the, uh, the, the spiritual gift from word of knowledge to word of wisdom and also um, the gift of faith, the gift of healing, in the gift of prophecy, which I did last week, uh, on gift of prophecy, if you still remember last week, I said the gift of prophecy, it's, it's a supernatural word of edification, uh, calling people nearer to God, encouragement, calming and consoling people that are in the assembly and with the order of exercising this gift. So we bless the Lord for that. Today, we're going to look at what is referred to as the discerning of spirits. The discerning of spirit. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10, it says, Unto another the effecting of miracles, another prophecy, unto another the distinguishing of spirit. The distribution of spirit, distinguishing of spirit, and we're going to um, just look at it this morning and understand why we have to, you know, follow and desire this gift this morning. Amen. And it says, the distinguishing of spirits to another, the inter to another various kinds of tongues and another the interpretation of tongues. And so this morning, um, we're going to use the word the discerning of spirits. Now, this gift is in the group of revelation gift. It's in the group of revelation gift, which also um, we look as as you know um, from the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, and the discerning of spirit. These are gifts of revelation, and so this morning. We're looking at the discerning of spirit. The discerning of spirit. And so, we need to um, uh, bring about this understanding today. Now, what is discerning of spirit? Discerning of spirit is a supernatural insight into the spiritual realm. And this is imparted by the Holy Spirit, 
to a believer. In other words, this gift comes at a point in time when a believer faces a, a, a circumstances maybe of supernatural manifestation. And so the gift of descending of spirits helps a believer, gives the, the believer the ability to discern what type of spirit is responsible for some kind of manifestation. And so that's what the descending of spirit is. And so we're going to look at a few examples where this gift was um, demonstrated in the early church and also how it applies to our present life in Christ. So this descending of spirits, you can hear my words say descending of spirits, not spirit. And it's, it's, it's not about the gift of discernment. It's not the spirit of discernment. But it's discerning of spirit. Because you need to know the difference between discernment and discerning of spirit. And so we looked at discernment is a kind of view, a kind of view of another person like mind reading and all that because God has not given anyone the access to know the state of the heart of another person Amen. except the person himself and again the descending of spirit is a supernatural insight that is given by the Holy Spirit to discern the type of spirit that is at work in a situation in a place and this can differ from place to place and even your reaction also differ from circumstances to circumstances so the sending of spirit is not to be suspicious but to weigh the, the manifestation supernatural manifestation even the prophetic to weigh it in line with the Holy Spirit it's a gift on its own it's a descending spirit and so which God gives through the Holy Spirit to a believer in different circumstances. Hallelujah. So this gift is the gift, is the God giving ability to at a particular moment. This descending of spirits is the God giving ability to at a particular moment in time discern whether the power performing, for example, a particular miracle is the power of the Spirit of God. And so we, we, we look at this. Or is it a power of some kind of other spirit? So this uh, spiritual gift, uh, discerning of spirits, helps you to, to distinguish what is, good, what is of good spirit and what is of evil spirit what the holy spirit is doing or what a different kind of spirit of the evil spirit or kingdom of darkness is at work so it gives you that ability and i pray that you discern as the bible says that we discern earnestly we discern earnestly this spiritual gift paul says i do not want you to be ignorant of this gift and so it's so important today so I want to also understand that, you know, um, this gift, the sending of spirit, usually manifests where the preaching of the gospel comes into contact, comes into confrontation with other kind of religion, with other kind of you know, religious practices. You know, what I'm saying is this, the, the, the sending of spirit that the Holy Spirit releases or gives enabled a, deli, a believer, a man of God, a child of God, comes into operation when there is the truth at work, when the gospel is being preached at a particular place, when they come into a counter or they come into, uh, uh, into contact with other forms of religion or other forms of you know, a spirit that is at work 
In fact, when you find yourself watching online certain messages, certain uh, um, you know messages or preaching or information being given on the internet, your discerning of spirits must be at work. Otherwise, you will fall into the you know into the into uh, messages of the new age, for example. You know messages that intend to you know teach you some kind of uh, religion of the East. Even I've, I've seen so many messages that intends, you know, to say that you can be, um, uh, you can have developed, for example, the mastery of yourself. You see, there is no mastery of yourself that you can develop without the Holy Spirit. There is no way you want to have to master this world without the Holy Spirit. So it's so important for you to receive this descending of spirit to to clamor for it to pray for it so that it can be a blessing in your life it can empower you and can empower those who are around you even for your household even in your marriage in your family the sin of spirit can teach you what is at work for example if there is a sickness a child is sick you can know is this a normal sickness or is it you know what what's going on or for example to make decisions by what you see by what is offered to you you know sometimes you can be offered some opportunities you need to know what spirit is behind that opportunity you may be given money you must know what's the spirit behind this gift it's not for you to be suspicious but it's for you to be sensitive to have a discerning of spirit you know last week I taught about um, the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and I finished it last week and we found out that everybody clamors for blessing I want God to bless me I want open doors I want this and that you know there are doors that will open unto you you also need the descendant of spirit because by what spirit is this door being opened to you even for business even for job by what spirit is this uh, opportunity coming to me from this particular group of people you can pray that the Holy Spirit helps you at the time of your decision in the place of decision to distinguish to discern what spirit is behind some manifestation or some occurrence that you might come out of so it's so important for us to know that this spiritual gift is for our blessing is for our empowerment as children of God. Hallelujah. Now, we look at some few examples. Um, this is a very wide subject that I cannot finish under this uh, 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 little time of, you know, little time of half an hour. But I believe that God just wanted to catch something today about spiritual gift. You know, amen. Now, this spiritual gift, like I mentioned earlier, God gives it to us through the Holy Spirit to be able to, uh, uh, you know, in the work of ministry, also to expose the workers of the demonic, to expose even fake prophets. Let's put it that way. You know, this discerning of spirits helps us to know which miracle is at work or through this fellow. Is it of God? Or is it of the kingdom of darkness? Let's look at some few examples. A classical example is Acts chapter 13, verse 6 to 12. Acts chapter 13, verse 6 to 12. Now let's look at some example for you to have a pure understanding of the sending of spirits. Acts chapter 13, uh, verse 6 to 12. We all know this, um, this story. Um, you know, this was a story when Paul went on the first missionary journey and, you know, they came into contact at a particular place uh, by Antioch. Now, in verse 6, when they moved, let's take it from verse 4. So they went. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia and from there they sailed to Cyprus. And when they reached Salamis, they began to proclaim the word of God 
in the synagogues of the Jews, and they also had John uh, as their helper. Now, in verse 6, the Bible says here in this act of the apostles, in fact, the act of the apostles is the act of the Holy Spirit as well, you know. So, in verse 6, it says, When they had gone through the whole island, as far as Paphos, they found a magician. They found a magician, a Jewish false prophet, whose name was by Jesus. We was with the proconsul. He was with the proconsul, Sergius Paulus. A man of intelligence. This man summoned Barnabas and Paul. Barnabas who was then Saul. And sought to hear the word of God. You see, the Paul, Saul was still Saul at that time. Paul was called Saul. So him and Barnabas, they, 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 this uh, man invited them that he may hear the word of God. Now, this is an example where and I said that the descending of spirits becomes activated in us, becomes a gift, becomes you know the gel of the Holy Spirit upon you when you come in contact with a demonic presence. And so, but Elemas, the magician, for so his name is translated, was opposing them seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. You can see the, 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 the contact there of the word of truth against the word of demonics. And so this man saw that the proconsul had received them to hear the word of truth, the gospel, because he had already been manipulating the proconsul by demonic things, by demonic magic. And that's why even the Bible says to us that the very elect can be deceived. And so we can see it here. So Paul the Apostle and Barnabas, they, 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 they looked at this man. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. They feasted and they gazed on him and said, you who are full of deceit and fraud, you son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, will you will you not cease to make crooked the straight way of the Lord? Amen. I mean, how could that come upon the apostles except by the Holy Spirit? Who rules within them? By this gift of the sending of spirits to rebuke the spirit that has been manipulating this proconsul, and now that the true word, the gospel, was being preached, suddenly the magician tried to dissuade the proconsul from it. And so, what happened here? Then and then they said, You will be full of all the sin and fraud, you son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, will you not cease to make crooked the straight ways of the Lord? And verse 11 says, Now, you know, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you. Now, you know, Paul began to speak. Why would he say is that holy anger? You know, he spoke certain things, which I will explain that later. And he says to him, you know, he said, he said, Behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you will, you, you will be blind and not see the sun for a time. He said, you will be blind and not see the sun for a time. And immediately, a mist and a darkness fell upon him, and he went about seeking those who would lead him by the hand. Hallelujah. Then the proconsul believed. The proconsul believed. When he saw what had happened, being amazed at, at, at the teaching of the Lord. So the proconsul believed. So sometimes when the, the, the sending of spirit is at work, it helps believers to be guided. And it also converts Convene, convince the, the, the unbelievers to believe. That's the power of this, this end of spirit. 
the same Holy Spirit equips the body of Christ to triumph, to prevail against the kingdom of darkness that may be at work. You know, if you are in the work of ministry, you might go to different region. Perhaps you are an evangelist or you, you, you are going to do certain things as a kingdom child. This gift is, is, is a privilege that the Holy Spirit has given us by the grace of Christ. And so we must desire it. We must desire it. It, it helps our daily life. It guides our decision. And gives us strength in the face of opposition of the kingdom of darkness. And, and that is why you can see there that also we've spoken about the gift of faith. That is where the gift of faith comes into operation. Like, you know, when you come in contact with some, with some uh, opposition of the darkness, there is also the gift of faith that comes upon you to make a pronouncement to defeat the enemy. That was what happened to Paul. Because Paul says here, when they stand on me, they saw him, they rebuke him, and he said, you must, you, you, he said, he said the, the hand of God is upon you, and you will be blind, and you must see the sun for a time. And exactly it happened. It was spoken in the deep of faith, and that is not just an ordinary faith, that is Another gift that came into operation when that descending of spirit manifested upon him. And he spoke with authority. And so, descending of spirit, you know, is, is such important for us to, uh, to understand and to, de to, to desire in our life and to pray that Lord, you know, it, it grant me the descending of spirit, particularly when you are going to some meetings. Sometimes you are going to a meeting where there is negotiation. You are going to a boardroom meeting, a corporate meeting. As a child of God, you don't go there in the, in the flesh. You don't go there with your mental assent. You need to believe God and pray that God gives you the discerning of spirits. Because in the boardroom of your business, the boardroom of your organization, there can be different spirit. And so it is. But as God gives you, you believe God for this gift. You will make a wise decision and you will make a wise contribution and also discern the spirit of those that are working with you. Amen. Praise God. So, um, uh, well, let's look at one other example. You know, even in the, in the, in the ministry, um, Paul said something in, um, in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 29. He said, let two or three prophets speak by the Holy Spirit. And he said, those who are hearing, let them judge. Let them judge. Let them give judgment. Not judgment as to criticism, but a, 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 a judgment, I'm trying to use another version, but a judgment that is, you know, by the discerning of the Spirit behind the prophecy. So this can be, for example, um, you know, a prophet comes or you find yourself in a conference and somebody claimed to be uh, a prophet and want to speak over your life. You know, you want to speak over your life. You, 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 you need to believe God for this kind of gift because whatever that is speaking into your life will impact your life forever. And so, when you know that, you know, when God gives you this, uh, uh, this descending of spirit, you can discern by what spirit is this man, is this prophet, prophesying? Is it by the spirit of God or by the spirit of darkness? This is why the Holy Spirit gives us this. Even in the church, some are, have come into the church, to the body of Christ, to say, Thus says the Lord. You, this gift can be in operation. Is it by what? Spirit is this prophecy? Is it by, by carnality or by the Holy Spirit? And so it is that miracles are performed in places that you go to. You need to, you know, this gift must be in operation in your life before you fall for miracles. You need to discern what spirit is behind the miracle. 
behind the manifestation of what you are saying. That is why this gift is very important. This is a gift of the Holy Spirit. You don't pay for it. Freely have you received, freely shall you give. You don't pay for it. You need to pray for it. You need to desire it. This is to equip your Christian life. And so, you go to those places, you can discern. And this is to give you victories in your life. Because there are so many that are living under judgment. There are so many that are living under wrong prophecies, which has not come from God, but from the kingdom of darkness, and it's ruling their life. But if in the instance, if at that place, at the point in time, you, 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 this descending of spirits manifesting you and you rebuke and you refuse a prophecy that is coming from the kingdom of darkness, it will not stand in your life. Or you counter with the word of God that this is what the word of God is saying, it will not. By this descending of spirits, such faith, such boldness, authority with the word of God in the name of Jesus. You can overcome whatever that is not of God, whatever that is not the Spirit of God that is being spoken over your life. You can come against it and you shall not stand. But the one that is coming from the Spirit of God, the miracles that is that is of the Spirit of God, the the, the manifestation, supernatural, uh, supernatural realm that you see, you will be able to descend appropriately in the name of Jesus. So we're going to um, continue on this section in some other times. And um, this morning, we have looked at the distinguishing of spirits or the sending of spirit, which is having a supernatural insight into uh, the spiritual realm. And this is imparted by the Holy Spirit onto a believer. And it enables you to discern the type of spirit which is responsible for certain supernatural manifestation. That is what the descending of spirit is. And I pray that uh, this few understanding that I've shared this morning, according to the reference books and the Bible and the examples we have seen, the Lord will continue to guide you and to empower you in the name of Jesus. Until another time again, we are able to exhaust this descending of spirits as a spiritual gift in your life and in my life. Um, God will give us that grace. May God bless you. And um, this has been Abiy Adeluga, Pastor of Shekinah Fellowship Ministry. And um, we're going to come back again uh, into our, um, our Bible class. And um, I pray that the Lord will surely um, give you this understanding that I've shared with you today in the name of Jesus. Father, I will thank you this morning. I bless your name. I give all the glory. And I pray, mighty God, that the word that I've shared this morning will resonate in the heart of a believer and those who are yet to believe. Father, Lord, I pray the Holy Spirit will convince them that there is a gift that is made possible for their victory and for the satisfactory life without any manipulation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for this Bible class in the name of Jesus. May God bless you and uh, have a wonderful time in the Lord. Later, I will join you at half past ten and uh, we shall go into our main service in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen.